Hello everyone and welcome Hello. to a new stream. This time it works. <laughs> it's taken us half an hour of swearing, but we have made it. Um, of course, as with all our streams, there's been a huge number of things that didn't work, uh, but <laughs> they should now. Um, so, uh, hey. What are we here to do today? So, um, first of all, Ivan is going to have to tell me what the fuck he did on Wednesday because I don't know, because I haven't had time to watch the stream yet. Uh, and I need a recap and of so uh, what happened. Well, not what happened, but what was done, uh, what is still to do. Um, and we have uh, a guest here that some of you, well, probably most of you know. Uh, he is Mark Allison. Uh, he's the author of the extremely long-running uh, styling android blog which is more than 10 years old now and it's crazy to think about that mark is the reason is one of the reasons why i started doing android and is definitely one of the most influential people in my personal career uh, because i got started doing android reading his blog posts um hello skype <laughs> skype did the skype thing <laughs> Oh, well, um, it's gone back to normal. So I was saying uh, thank you, Mark, for being with us. Um, I have read your article uh, that you published the other day about the Gradle version catalogs, and that's something that I really wanted to try out myself, but I haven't really had the time to do yet. And I thought, well, let's do it in bundle. It's kind of like 
sort of a dumping ground for all the things that, I, that we would like to try, but never had the time otherwise. Um, you have obviously some experience with that and uh, with your help we'll be uh, adding version catalogs to our project and also after that's done because hopefully knocking on wood uh, that won't take too much time then we'll keep on going with uh, whatever even was doing on Wednesday and uh, maybe do some more compose UI and, and stuff especially in stuff <laughs> so if you want to say something, Mark, um, sorry, I, I talk a lot. Um, I just realized I was muted as well, which doesn't help. Um. <laughs> That's perfect. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think as when Skype glitched, I came back muted and didn't realize. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's very nice to be here. Um, I, I think uh, should point out, maybe discuss the elephant in the room here. Um, I'm not Italian, um, so that there's kind of a, <laughs> a bit of a lie going on. Um, I did consider trying to put on an outrageously bad Italian accent for the entire live stream, but uh, I didn't want to offend anyone, so you'll be spared that. Uh, well, yeah, these two I Italians would offend. be offended, so feel free to. <laughs> <laughs> We are way hard, way harder than you think to offend. Right? <laughs> so that's that's the only way you survive Italy. <laughs> you have the, like thick skin, thick skin, my friend. Okay, great. So hi Fabio and hi Radon. Wait, I can't read shit. I'm I'm too old for this. <laughs> uh, yeah. But um, yeah, we are getting ready to go. And I think there's not actually much that we need to do still. Um, I am just finishing setting up things on my computer one second, uh, and then I will be sharing my screen. Uh, it's going to be one second only because I need the, the stream preview, otherwise I cannot know what's going on. Okay, that's ready. And I think we can uh, go to the code uh, where maybe even you can explain what yep. you've done on Wednesday. Let's, okay, switched, let's go. Super, 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 super. So um, to give you a bit of a recap, so with Aurelio on Wednesday, uh, and by the way, hi Aurelio, I, I saw him in the chat. Oh. Um, we, we, um, we started, to work on Crashlytics because we we decided okay this app is it's getting momentum or I mean people seems very interested so chances are that it's gonna end up on the Play Store and everything crashes once you put it on the Play Store so uh, we need to <laughs> we need to have crash reporting. I, I thought so you meant everything tried... crashes when you put Crashlytics in. <laughs> <laughs> no, well I mean yeah, well, why why. In, in a sense, yes, because well, it, because you know that things are crashing, you know, because <laughs> now you know that stuff is just actually crashing. If you don't put crash lyrics, it's, it's just well, you don't know. So we basically, you know, unicorns and rainbows and ponies, everything is fine uh, until you start getting emails. Uh, so we wanted to have a bit more visibility from uh, the crash reporting side. Uh, so we, we wanted to add Crashlytics, Firebase, we love Firebase, uh, we wanted to keep it simple, but we wanted actually to do something that I uh, I never did because uh, it was never required in uh, projects that I worked. Um, the, um, the fact that you can actually disable Crashlytics by default and then let the user uh, opt in, okay? Um, I don't really know the the use case uh, because privacy wise we are always super careful and with Crashlytics as long as you don't connect the user to the crash report you should be okay from uh, I'm not a lawyer so don't take a uh, uh, spoiler alert I'm not a legal advisor <laughs> I, I can give you some uh, insight into but, that if you want but the TLDR is yeah. GDPR y okay. you need to ask okay. for consent Fair enough. Okay, any, any how we wanted to add a switch to uh, make 
Crashlytics uh, disabled by default, but uh, giving the opportunity to the user to enable it during the onboarding. The onboarding, because we already have a, an onboarding screen where we ask for the um, access to the notifications. So we just thought, okay, let's put uh, um, let, let's switch there. Um, and um, well, we had a bit of problems with connection and stuff. We we did a bit of uh, blindfold uh, coding. Mark was there supporting us in the chat. I, I really loved the energy because it was a very stressful moment for me. Uh, but eventually, uh, we reached a, a point where we have a, a functioning switch. I also put in a couple of more hours. Uh, on Thursday because you know it was it was necessary I wanted to be ready for today uh, so at the moment we have um, we have a um, UI part that is the compose part that we have in the onboarding screen the onboard screen composable uh, we have a um, like a tiny piece of storage where we uh, store the the preference it's just a boolean that we store in the shared preferences and we wired everything together uh, thanks to a view model. So that was the first actual uh, view model with dependencies that we had in, uh, in the project. Um, we had quite a few issues with the view model. It took like a, a fair amount of people <laughs> working, uh, <laughs> working on that. On Thursday, I I, I would uh, shout out to Roberto. Roberto, we, we just love you because <laughs> you are always there trying to fix our shit. So or are you are adding shit because you also contributed to the the mayhem uh, for the database. So <laughs> so that's also nice. Uh, and eventually we asked uh, we asked for we, we had a solution. Uh, but we weren't sure that it was the right solution. I checked the videos, we checked uh, Slack, and uh, eventually, as usual, people from Google just helped us. <laughs> because, because that's how we roll. At some point, you just cry baby, and somebody from Google just helps you. So, uh, shout out to Ian, thank you. Uh, and uh, the Jetpack Navigation uh, and, and, and Hilt team, thank you, everybody. Uh, so, now we have a pull request on uh, GitHub with uh, a functioning uh, a functioning Crashlytics uh, setup. So we also have a view model with dependency injection that is actually resolving the dependency. So it was it was nice. It was nice. It was it was a lot of stuff to to learn because I don't know Hilt and the whole situation with Compose is still new. Uh, but yeah. Seems straightforward once you you get every piece connected. So it turns out that uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it turns out that I I had already uh, authorized GitHub uh, in Android Studio, but uh, it's probably bugged. I don't know. Um, the fact okay. remains that it didn't really uh, log me in, so I'm, I've just switched away from my screen for a second while I <laughs> add my uh, credentials in. Okay, so sorry everyone for yes. that. That's the reason why I was hiding the screen for a minute, <laughs> so I can actually do the pull request review in here, which is something that yeah. I love. So this is this is very nice. I just attached um, a screenshot for the sake of having an idea of what yep. we built. Uh, so this is the UI. Basically, when you toggle the switch, we send an event. We are uh, using the Compose mindset, states and events. So we bubble up the event, and we uh, send the switch event to the view model. And the view model does the storage, and, and then uh, enables Crashlytics, and it comes back with a new state. Um, yeah, looks good. Uh, we have uh, should, should be okay. we have a question on the chat that is uh, Radon ninety asking oh. if we plan on replacing shared preferences with data store. Yes, we do. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully. Oh, <laughs> well, you're such a, you're such a lucky ass, Sebastian. <laughs> Just because I had this planned already. Come on. <laughs> Please, please, Ra Radon, just bear with us for a second. Sebastiano, explain Radon why did I <laughs> pick shared preferences? So, uh, I yes. might have uh, 
imposed even using shared preferences instead of data store uh, because we hope to have a special guest coming in to help us migrate to data store uh, at some point next month. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I will not make names until I'm sure that they'll join, but I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, so yes, uh, it is very much accumulating tech debt to solve it later with a guest. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the, so basically we are, we are putting things in that then we are going to replace with fancy guests. Yes. I mean, we are, we are the worst. Guest-driven <laughs> development. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that's per that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> I th I thought the ruse would last a bit longer than it actually did. <laughs> no, they just ask uh, people. You are doing the fancy stuff. How? Why are you using shared preferences? Oh shit! I knew. I mean, and now there is my commit name. There is there is my name on the commit. You know, I'm putting the the old stuff in, and then you get the guest, and then you are the fancy one coding with the guest replacing it with the with the new stuff. Yeah, that's unfair. That's hey, unfair. Hey, I listen. The wrong side of I am this duo. I am I... lucky enough <laughs> that I can ask people that know about shit to come and explain me how that shit works <laughs> so we are, we are very we are very grateful i love the subtlety oh. of how seb's managed to um, massage the git blame so that it all falls on ivan yes <laughs> I, I picked i picked the wrong the wrong side of the duo you know, oh yeah no i really need to take this wednesday off because i'm so oh, yeah sebastiano there's no problem please take a day off i'm gonna code on my computer Ah, now I see. Now I see. Now everything is clear. <laughs> this is like good cop, bad cop, but with good code, bad code. <laughs> I, hate I hate it. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit here and drink. Ah, come on. Care. Well, that that was a, a concept I thought um, you should have. A, uh, definitely have a drunk coding with the Italian session. <laughs> Well, every, every time you fuck up, you have to take a drink. Just, you really, you really want us to be session. wankered at the end of the stream, don't you? Yeah. Yes. In the following session, you'll basically just revert everything you did in the in the drunk coding with the Italian session. Okay, so let's put it this way: if we manage to get enough followers, we might do a specific stream that we'll call it the Balmer Speak. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we are basically just going to be wasted in like 10 minutes. Yeah, but we, want, <laughs> we we need to to get an adult to supervise us and just cut the, the stream short when we start to embarrass ourselves too much. <laughs> yes, yeah, we, we need a sponsor or some sort. <laughs> You've never done that before, though. You mean embarrass myself or, or get someone to uh, prevent have it? Have someone to, to stop the stream when you start embarrassing yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's, this is sober embarrassment. It's it's easier. <laughs> uh, okay, so so oh, your your CI is still failing. Yeah, it's still failing. So I wanted to check what is uh, that it's failing. Oh, I might I know. Okay, so because even added Crashlytics, obviously the CI stopped working entirely. It was like. Well, you don't have the Google dot the Google services JSON, so fuck you. I'm not gonna build your stuff. And I'm like, oh god. But I like having a CI. Um, so in between and the put, in between can put, the can we put the Google JSON in, in the repo? No. Would you advise? No, no, <laughs> absolutely not. So what I've done is I've added it to my local uh, folder. Obviously, I've also added it to git ignore because even didn't do it. I think he wanted me to commit it by mistake and then blame me for that. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, and then I created like a dummy data folder in the build config folder where I have a dummy Google services file that is actually committed and is all zeroed out. There's no nothing sensitive here, but this will make the CI happy because it sees there's something. And unless I try to run or build the app for releasing, this is good enough. It doesn't need anything more than this. Um, so Lint uh, runs the application, well, builds the application uh, and uh, well, compiles the application. It doesn't build the application, but uh, it needs the, the services uh, JSON to be there. So this satisfies it. Uh, I have created a task 
that is copy dummy data for CI. Uh, there is a copy task that takes the uh, file that I've just showed and copies it to the app uh, project there and renames it to google-services.json. And on top of that, I have added it to the CI arguments, uh, but I've also realized that I forgot to do it on this one. So I've only, there's two um, jobs on the CI and I've only fixed one of the two. So fix check job on CI. Okay, commit and push. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Let's go uh, quickly to the pull request. I will assume that most of what you did is fine, even. Um, yeah, there is also Roberto. So if you want to blame it I, on I will, somebody yeah. that is not here. <laughs> I will blame it on Roberto. I mean, who does that? Look at this. Look at this. Probably fix view model issue. I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> Probably fix. Well, it, that's it a did classic. fix it. That's a classic. <laughs> no, no, no. And that's the thing. It fixed it. It fixed it. So why probably? I mean, come on, Roberto. Come on. Uh, I, I, I just love it. Um, yeah, there's... I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, lo I also love revert kill JSON. Yeah, you, you also... don't have faith in me. That's the problem. <laughs> no. No, I was like just following the warning and the I removed JSON and the build uh, worked. And then I pushed it on the CI and the CI failed. I was like, oh, fuck me. And actually we need it for like probably K detect or something. Yeah, I, I it's uh, detect for sure. Uh, I think now that I've updated it, it might actually work without, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to try it on stream. I'm, I'm probably going to drop it afterwards if it works uh, just fine, because I think <sighs> Detect was still depending on JCenter because it depends on uh, Kotlin XHTML that until the latest mm. version wasn't available on Maven Central. So it's like a transitive dependency of Detect that was causing issues. And I think with this commit, it should get fixed, but we'll see. Um, in the meantime, this is now running shit and hopefully it's going to be green. I expect it to be green because I did run the static analysis locally and it was green. So that should be okay. Um, hi, Coding Pizza. I don't know who you are, but I approve of your nickname. It's two things that I like. Um, nice. Do you know by any chance, Mark, if Kotlin 1.5 works with Compose now? Or rather... I don't think so. I think it's coming, but uh, uh, I've not uh, updated my Compose project yet. I'm not going to YOLO it. <laughs> I think it's unwise. <laughs> I might I might try later. Um, what was I going to say? Do oh, you want to run the app? By the way, do you want to run the app for the sake of running it? Yes, uh, let's run it. I want to. I want to show you. I want to show you the the switch. You, <laughs> you really like big text because you're old, right? Yeah, because I was like, I can't read. I can't read, <laughs> and I probably it was like eight. It was H four or H three or something like that. I was like, eh. that looks like like H four. You're back in my, back in my <laughs> days. You could read shit, you know? These phones, higher resolutions, I can't read anything. Uh, uh, so there's an... Uh, but yeah. So this is the view model you created, by the way, right? Yeah. That's the. This is the view model. What's the with the Git flame here? This is this is making me anxious. <laughs> it's making me uh, nervous. It's a plugin that is called uh, Git Toolbox that shows stuff. Blame. Yeah, it's so, useful. Okay. In well, maybe not in not much in this project, but in general, it's useful to know when something was changed and why. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it works. It runs. Which, yeah. <clears throat> so the idea is that, as you can see, um, the only thing that we need to do to have the injection with uh, with hilt, uh, we marked uh, we annotate the view model with hilt uh, view model. We inject the constructor as usual, uh, and this is for the view model. Uh, if you search for preference storage, oh yeah, 
you will see that we are providing it. Uh, this is just basic an interface. We implemented it with a shared preference backed by shared preferences. Really no fancy stuff. I just took care of not running it on the main thread just for the sake of decency. Um, and uh, if you check where we are using the um, the interface, you probably will end up in the Hilt module or the application module. There is an application module file. There you go. Very, very straightforward. This was the, this was the okay. application thing, and we are just providing it. It's a very straightforward thing. It looks... And being in the singleton component uh, module, I am pretty sure that this is like the only instance that we we are building. So I didn't mark it as a singleton. I I have a, a feeling that it's gonna be always the same instance because it's a singleton component. That I'm just yeah yeah it the, should be for for my understanding. Maybe Mark has more. Yeah, I think that that's fairly safe because uh, you'll you'll get uh, if you subscribe to uh, shared pref changes, then you'll just get. Uh, a callback if something else changes them and stuff like that. So yeah, it should be okay. Cool. Um, I think something useful to do maybe later uh, that we can build on mm -hmm. is right now the preference storage only has the load Crashlytics and store Crashlytics, which by the way, does it load and store the whole of Crashlytics into my preferences or if it's enabled? Naming, naming is hard. <laughs> Um, but naming is hard, but I agree that it's very misleading. Yeah. So we can we can iterate on that. Yeah. Let, I just want to check if the mm -hmm. pull request is um, actually green now, because if it is, then we can probably just uh, ship it. Um, you see three Seattle? pending checks. Seattle? Yeah. Uh, what's going on? What is it complaining about this time? Uh, Bad code. Uh, no, Lint found one error. Uh, yeah, newer yeah, version of AppCompat is available. Okay, I didn't know Lint would break the build for that, but okay. Yeah, that's a bit aggressive, Lint. It's like oh. re reproducible builds much? No, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Update <laughs> stuff. I'm gonna just fail. I'm just gonna fail the build. Yeah, it's like just get your shit together. How is this an error? Why the hell is this an error? Oh well. Um, yeah, this is a bit annoying. <laughs> that's, that's a bit aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I understand that you want me to use the latest version, but okay. <laughs> Okay, that that should that should work. Uh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Don't mind me going through all the the things and telling it shut up. That's a real word. It's the fifth time I do it in two weeks because um, I re I had to reinstall Windows because after the SSD broke last week. I obviously have to uh, reinstall Windows and everything, and then uh, some shit wasn't working, so I had to reinstall Windows again. Um, so yeah, all the configuration that I've done last week, I'm redoing from scratch. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you you are making it sound like fun, you know. You're uh, <laughs> you're putting. <laughs> it's extremely like some, something that I will I I will enjoy. I'm gonna get a window machine just to keep it reinstalling everything. In all fairness, I think things were broken because at some point I tried to rename the home folder, which isn't supposed to be done in Windows, but I tried anyway. You, you rename you renamed the home folder. Hey, I, I wanted wrong. to set a name what? and I, I made the mistake of logging into my Microsoft account while I was doing the Windows setup. So it chose a random uh, home folder name and it was annoying me. So I, I tried to undo that, uh, but it didn't work clearly. Oh, well. 
Okay. I do what I can. I cannot blame Windows for this, though. It's probably on so, me. <laughs> so, well, fair enough. Well, so, what's the agenda for today? Sebastian. So uh, we are going to, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to switch to version catalogs um, so that um, when Lint gets aggressive again, <laughs> we, <laughs> we know where to go. Um, and jokes aside, it should be easier to maintain um, the, the, for example, the version of Compose that we use is currently defined in a bunch of places. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, well, we have it here, yeah, but it's, this is yeah. kind of crap. Yeah. Uh, and I, I would like to move this to the version catalog, but also <clears throat> make all of this um, turn into uh, nice type things uh, that are easy to use. Um, okay. And after that, I think we can uh, do the other thing that we could do with the preference storage. And I think then we'll probably be out of time by the time we're done with that, which is uh, store when the user has seen the onboarding um, so that when the application starts, if there is no need to ask for the permission, then we can just go directly to the uh, home screen. Yeah. Because at the moment when you give permissions, you still get the let's go button. Yep. So uh, just, yeah, you, there's you no just point. Keep... There's no point in having yeah. that. So uh, that I think is a reasonable plan for today, uh, assuming that things will go wrong <laughs> at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that seems to be how it goes. Uh, but um, getting there. Uh, yeah, it, it will eventually start Gradle at your leisure, yeah. uh, CI, at your leisure. Um, yeah, but they, they, they were complaining about uh, GitHub Actions being a bit slower. Lately. It was very broken the other day, like it wouldn't start builds at all. Um, so they, they had some serious issues. But um, by the way, this is like my idea of uh, how the onboarding could eventually look. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have a page for Crashlytics, but just to have an idea of how I think it could look. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. if we have some spare time, we can start theming it, uh, maybe putting the, the logo in and uh, making it a bit nicer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mark, do you know if there's anything <clears throat> like the, the, the dots <laughs> indicator done already or do we do it? Do we do our own? Um, no. To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I've always had to do my own um, because no. uh, generally the requirements coming from designers say they want fancy animations on them and things like that, which just nothing does out the box. So you generally, <laughs> that's been my experience having to do those kind of indicator dots. We are lucky and unlucky <laughs> that uh, <laughs> we don't have <laughs> proper designs. We only have my bullshit designs. <laughs> So there's no animation. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, but, but I don't know if we get it for free. I mean, I don't know if I mean view pager probably eventually something we could. But I don't know. It. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe while while this doesn't yeah. do shit because it clearly is not doing anything. Not uh, doing anything. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe it did. It was just stuck. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, right let's there. see. Yay! Yay! Ready for review. Because <clears throat> otherwise I couldn't merge it. I'll just YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, merge. I also noticed you do the chore, feet, chore thing. Yeah. I, I have, uh, it's a habit. I'm using uh, conventional commit. It's a plugin in IntelliJ. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, the idea is that then eventually you can um, like grab the commit messages, you know, because you have always this prefix mm -hmm. uh, and gets you a nicer change log if you want to do that kind of stuff. My, it's more like a habit. Yeah, my, my question is, have you actually ever done that? Like, have you actually the, ever needed the... to grab something, something? Uh, the well, not not recently, but they were using it for change logs in a uh, couple of um, previous clients. Uh -huh. Okay. Even if I 
struggle with uh, the idea of creating a change log from commit messages and merge request merges. It's more like, you know, because I, I like a lot the, um, uh, when you have the release notes on the Play Store that say fixed bugs. Yeah. Or on the opposite, you have the nice ones from Slack. You know where you have the, like a marketing team and a copy people. Yeah, uh, they're just writing copyrighted. So, but I mean, it, it could be useful for library. I don't know. It's more like just probably. Yeah, just, yeah I'm. Uh, I'm just because I'm. I'm generally. I resist to unnecessary uh, process, uh, and mm -hmm. but it's hard to understand whether you need that process until you've actually implemented it and then spent time with it and then figured out I actually don't need this. Uh, so that's like it's complicated to to decide whether something is necessary or not. Um, so that's why I was asking. I was honestly curious whether uh, it would uh, turn out useful. Um, uh, before we proceed, just a couple of things in the chat. So, uh, Epixor yeah. lead, well, one, three, three, seven said that, uh, they think there's a missing at singleton annotation on provide preference storage, um, uh, which is huh. this, uh, the one that we were discussing. Yeah. So this was, was it's a singleton component, which is correct, but I think it will create a new instance per each injection. Um, given that Fabio is in the chat, hey Fabio, can you confirm? <laughs> Our yeah. resident Hilt expert, Hilt slash dagger slash everything else. I have no reason to doubt that Epixor is probably right, uh, yeah. but, uh, well, I'll do it anyway. I don't think it hurts in any case. No, I don't. Uh, Double annotation. Yeah. But I don't Fabio know if it's necessary. Fabio was also suggesting something about a page indicator. Yeah, for the I, I was board, actually you know? getting get into mm. that. Uh, I think when when we get to the point where we have enough pages in the onboarding, then we can look at that. But I will uh, check that out. Uh, I will probably actually just open it. GitHub.com. Kothamir uh, Narendra. Uh, pager indicators. Obviously, there's a typo. Close enough. Ah, oh, God. Oh, ha! I win. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. quite nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh wow! There's okay. a plenty of uh. them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, Start cool. Rep. Start the rep. <clears throat> uh, cool. Do you do you okay. want me to start it? Uh, no, I mean just to keep it in mind because well, so oh, yeah. we well it's in the history now. It's there forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> um thank you for the suggestion, both of you. Um let's get cracking with the version catalogs. So yep. Mark. Uh, elevator pitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm a, a huge advocate of having a single tr source of truth for your versioning. Um, it's valuable in a multi-module project if you've got different modules all relying on the same dependencies. If each one is defining their own dependencies, it's very easy to get them out of sync and you can just get weird behaviors where you maybe have uh, two different versions in two different modules and your one gets pulled in and it breaks the older one uh, because there's a breaking API change in there or more a behavioral change or something like that. Um, but if you um, have them out of sync with each other, you might actually get uh, warnings earlier uh, if you synchronize them. Um, so having a single source of truth is useful for that. There are also say for example if you're using the navigation library there are a number of different navigation uh, libraries and they usually share a version and again you can get into trouble if you don't have them all synchronized to the same version and you can do all that with having this single source of truth um, for a long time on my uh, blog post 
uh, code, I've used a, uh, a dependencies file in build source, which does the job, but it does impact build, script, uh, build speed because every time you change it, it, it does a reconfigure, which then slows everything down. Um, and so with uh, Gradle 7.0, they introduced a new incubating feature called uh, version catalogs, which is designed to fix that very problem. Um, so that's what we'll do. It allows you to, to centralize where uh, all your dependencies are declared. So <laughs> you change in one place. Um, you are, you know where to look. You've not got to go hunting through all your, your build.gradle files to work out where you, you have the same dependency. And it just makes your, your, your build script so much easier to maintain. So the first thing you need to do is uh, you've got to enable it because it's an incubating feature. So yeah, in your settings.gradle.kts, you need uh, enable feature preview, which is one word camel case and in quotes, version underscore catalogs, all caps. And now it is enabled. Um, so your version catalog gets stored in your Gradle folder. Um, and you need to call it uh, libs.versions.toml. Okay. And it's a TOML file. Um, so TOML is Tom's obvious markup language. Um, and Thank you, if, Tom. <laughs> if anyone's ever uh, had to uh, hack around with uh, Windows preferences files, it's kind of based on that format. You um, mean like uh, any files? Yeah, that's it. it. It's very simplistic key value pairs, um, which you can group uh, into logical sections. Um, and so the first logical section you need is a version section, which you declare in square brackets and call it versions. So now you, this is where you actually declare the actual version numbers. So for example, we want to do Kotlin. So Kotlin equals in quotes 1.4.32. Um, and you can go down here. Uh, let, let's rather than do everything now, let's just do Kotlin mm -hmm. and then we'll, we'll, we can come back and do them. So next you want to declare your libraries. So you have a library section. Um, and in here you need to ha have uh, Kotlin hyphen Gradle plugin. And that's, uh, yeah, you can do it that way. The, the hyphens are quite important here because um, what this does, as it's, it generates the, the de dependencies, it will group them similar to um, uh, JVM packages. So th essentially, the hyphens will get replaced with dots uh, when we come to use them. Um, so this would be like Kotlin.gradle.plugin when we use it, right? Yeah. But you'll okay. need to prefix that as well, which we'll come to when we come to okay. actually include it in there. So By the way, we do, do I need to install the plugin? Uh, what, do you the know if it... plugin? You can do. It will help you slightly. Um, there, there's not um, uh, great IDE support yet. It um, doesn't recognize changes to this file, so it won't uh, immediately know that you've got to uh, uh, regenerate things. So, kind of, you you have to, uh, you know, resync your Gradle project periodically with this, um, but hopefully that's going to improve, um, you know, pretty soon before this goes uh, become stable at least. So your Kotlin Gradle plugin, uh, the value for that uh, in curly brackets, uh, you want module equals, <clears throat> and this is uh, the the package name and. So it's org.jetbrains.kotlin, colon, kotlin, hyphen, gradle, hyphen, plugin. And then you can actually reference the version by comma uh, version.ref. 
Versions, not ref. Uh, version singular. Okay. And then uh, equals in quotes the name of the version that we just created in the version section. So that's Kotlin. Okay. So that's it. That's our um, Kotlin Gradle project uh, plugin defined. So you need to sync your your project now. Otherwise, uh, it won't uh, do much when you come to, to use it. It, it will build. Um, so now uh, we need to go to uh, the top level build.gradle. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And so in here, this is where we have, we define the class path. Um, and this is where there's a little bit of a gotcha. Um, if you're using the Groovy DSL, uh, all is fine. Um, but the Kotlin DSL isn't fully supported. Uh, it doesn't actually import this, these generated uh, definitions in the, the uh, dependencies section of build.gradle.kts. It does in the application one, which is kind of... Uh, it's, it's when you're in the build script, it doesn't. But when you're in the main dependencies, it does. Kind of like they forgot the extension function here yeah. or something. Okay. Yeah. So you need to add it manually, which is a, a bit of a pain, but you need to declare a thing called libs. So in here, create a val, dot, uh, val space libs. That equals project dot extensions dot get by type. That's camel case. And that's a. Um, it, it's a generic method, so you need to declare the generic type of version catalogs extension, which is camel case. And after the yeah, uh, after that you've got uh, add dot named and in quotes libs, and then you've got to cast that uh, which. Sorry, uh, I am <laughs> just trying to. <laughs> there we go. Uh, got a, uh, as org dot gradle dot accessors dot dm dot libraries for libs. That's the one. So okay. it's a bit of a faff having to do that, but this is the only place you need to do it. I, I have noticed that there is a bug already open in the Gradle project for this, uh, so I guess they will fix it at some point. Right, that makes uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time. So now we can replace uh, the class path for the uh, Gradle plugin, and we need to use libs. Dot Android. Uh, sorry, Kotlin. Sorry, I'm. Uh, yep. And then Gradle plugin, and we're done. So now that's that using uh, nice uh, the the version that we we set up, um, and so what remains is to go through and do all the others. Um, but what's really nice is that there's a feature we haven't looked at yet called bundles, um, and Again, this is in the Toml file, and so if we, this is really useful with Compose. Um, so if we def declare the Compose version that we're using mm -hmm. in the version section, so Compose, this would be one dot zero dot zero. Yeah, beta seven, if that's what beta o oh. seven. Okay. So then you can define uh, a number of compose libraries in okay. uh, the yep. library section. Um, mm -hmm. Let me copy paste some of these. Uh... So yeah, this shows you what um, the IDE does at the moment when you're not syncing regularly when you're changing mm -hmm. this. Uh, it will build perfectly okay, but the the uh, IDE gets confused. 
I expect this could work better uh, in IntelliJ uh, on newer versions, uh, but I don't know if the full support for the version catalog is uh, implemented or not yet. So only one way to know. I'll, I'll have to try it on something else. Yes. Uh, you've missed the artifact name of the... All right, yep, yeah, foundation. And version ref is compose. compose. Okay, so let me do compose material. Material, whoops. And this is material icons extended. Well, I just material and then icons extended. Okay. Um, then we have compose runtime. You probably need to rename the previous one because you've got two oh, yeah. named a bit the same. I'll just call it icons uh, extended. Can I do like this? Does it still work if I use capitals? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we said we have runtime. Oh, this is runtime live data. Okay, I'll rename. Uh, runtime dash live data. Okay. And then uh, I would say let's do compose uh, UI. This is UI and I'll have UI tooling as well. Uh, this is UI. And UI and this is tooling, not UI tooling, just tooling. Okay, I think so, this is all compose. So I guess already this shows one of the benefits here. You've declared the compose version once in the version section. Um, so if you decide to update compose to the next beta when it comes out, you only need to change the versions and all of the individual libraries will get uh, pulled in at the correct version, which if you get them out of sync, it can uh, cause all kinds of weird shit to, to happen. Um, but the where this then gets even more powerful is if you add another section below libraries uh, and call it bundles. Uh, I think it's complaining about something, but we'll fix it later. Okay. Okay. Um, and create a bundle called compose. And that equals, um, and you can create a list, which is square brackets. And now what you want to put in here is just a list of strings, comma separated with all the different compose. All uh, these ones? Yep. Okay. Just uh, add those to okay. that list. Okay, so I'll do that. This and I need uh, I need to put them in quotes, right? Yeah, and then comma separate them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then no, this yes. Okay, and I need to. It doesn't really like spaces, not to worry. I will fix it in a sec. Da -da -da. Okay, it's still complaining about something. What is it complaining about? I don't know. Ah, uh, could it 
be that it's uh, clashing with the version's value, I possibly. I'm not sure. Uh, Let me try this. Uh, it still says cannot generate accessors for Android X .compose because it contains both addices and groups uh, of the same name uh, material. Okay. What it is, it's um, so uh, when you've got your material and material icons extended, yep. because of this kind of uh, package formatting, uh, um, you've created one artifact that uh, has a distinct name, uh, yeah, that should do it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of like you've had it. If you defined a class uh, inside com.seb, you, if you had com.seb dot class name and then created a package in there called class name as well, then it would uh, probably complain. Uh, and you, I broke Gradle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just quickly check that I'm using. Oh, no, I'm not using 702. So let me use the latest one just to be sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see if that helps in any way. Build, 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 build. Okay. Ouch. Uh, uh, line eight. Me. Oh yes, it's missing a comma. After all of these, you are indeed correct, Gradle. Okay, and now I broke it again. Um, What is this now? What is this madness? I fixed it. It should work. Did I forget some commas? No. Okay, let me just, just for uh, now. I, yeah. I can see a missing open quote. Uh, no, sorry, I'm mistaken. No, my mistake. Okay. Uh, let me just for now comment that out and see if this works no uh, so there is something also wrong here let me take that one out still doesn't work um, let me rebuild would be nice if it even gave you a line number what uh, I think it's Android studio that is kind of like not really dealing with things anymore. On board. Yeah. On board. On board. Uh, yeah, yeah. Task list not built. You wouldn't show them anyway, bloody studio. You're broken. <laughs> why, uh, why does it open experimental? Sure. Um, okay. Ah. Okay. Did it Can delete you the, import? the import? No. It, yeah, I think it. Uh, it's there. But it was resolving the import when he when it was in line, and then he. It was uh, working. Ah, yes, it did. For. No, I think it's um kind of broken. Um. Try it from the command line. Eh, good luck with that. I'll try, but I don't think I have set things up on the command line to work yet. Uh, I might have not installed um, Java. That That's always my uh, nope. go-to for uh, trying to work out, is it an Android Studio issue? If you can build from the command line and it doesn't build in the IDE, then it kind of gives you some hints where to look. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I never remember what's the package name. I mistyped the password, obviously. Okay, yep. Do your thing. 
Uh, yeah, while that does its own thing, uh, let's for a second think what's going on here. So if I like when we added like this and this, it was happy. So that should work. Uh, I can also try and do what Ivan was suggesting, which is to just take out the import and leave it like that. But I don't know if it's going to make any it was, differences. Well, it, it, was work, it was working before you updated the Gradle version. Yeah, and but the, the import was there. I remember clearly. Now Gradle is actually doing things, as you can see. So. The other thing worth trying is maybe just uncomment the composed libraries one at a time and see if you can narrow it down that way. Okay. I know. What, what happens if you run? So the sync actually worked now, uh, even yeah, though this fact, is red. So <laughs> uh, let's try I, and comment. Try to this. do the compose. Yeah. Importing library data, blah, 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 indexing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so Sorry. it's red, but it works. Yeah, that's what I, I mean about the IDE doesn't always catch up. It builds correctly, but complains about it. The thing is, I because it's Windows and because the, the console is WSL, I cannot run Gradle here in Android Studio and on the command line at the same time, uh, because if I do, it kind of blows up uh, because it doesn't understand it itself. It's like, how is this happening? So yeah, um, I'm going to try and fix it from here. And if that doesn't work, uh, I will uh, try and go with the, um, cons the command line. Let's see if that works. Hopefully. Okay. Come on. Okay. It's happy now. It's also happy here now. Go back to Pfft. whatever. Back to the bundles thing. Okay. So it's complaining about something. Um, but it's that we don't actually know. Yeah, but it doesn't even show an error here, like. There's no problems so, found. Try, try re-importing again. I've found that seems to be the uh, the catch-all when you get errors in the IDE. You just need the IDE to uh, re-scan things. But now it seems to sync. It has synced. So if you remove the dependency from the build Kotlin, okay. It's not even red anymore. Let's, um, I would say, let's try. Yeah. Hmm. So what, what you need to do now is, rather than having all these individual uh, compose libraries, you can just import the bundle. So if you oh, nice. uh, have implementation, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's libs bundle. No, is it libs or libraries? Uh, it's libs. Well, there was something before libs, right? Bundles compose dot bundle. Mm. It should be bundles. Ah, I think I can see the problem. Tell me. Uh, uh, no, sorry, no, I can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> libs dot bundle. But but if you check the oh, I some pool, right? yeah, that's it. Try that. I'm gonna try and make it, but uh, no unresolved reference bundle. Hmm. Is it this is incorrect or I'll call this this seems to help generally. Yeah. <laughs> Just changing names. Um, they are suggesting it on the, in the chat as well. But do we need something before libs or is just libs? No, that should work here, I think. I mean, we can also do the same hack 
thing, but I don't think it's going to change anything. Well, well, but Mark said that it was working in the oh, it's bundles. App, uh, build grid. Jesus. Ah. But can you resolve the name? Thank of the you, chat, once again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you, Aurelio. No. Come on. What? Sync again. I will not accept this insubordination. Okay. Just sync a number of times. Right. Actually, with a bit of cooler and a bit of people in the chat. Yay. Okay. Okay, good. So now I can get rid of all this shit, theoretically. Right? Yep. Bye! And that's what bundles do for you. So where that's you've nice. got... Well, this uh, is actually super cool. Yeah, th this was the, the, the thing that you can't do easily um, with the dependencies.kt in build source. I'm sure you can hack stuff around to do it, but to just be able to uh, group libraries into a bundle and have a single import to pull them all in mm. is just really nice. Yeah, because you always have something that has more than one. Yeah, I mean, you look at the what we have. You have definitely a few hilt, a few room, a few life cycle. So, you know, pack packaging them, bundling them, it's all it's actually nice. And because we have it we have this kind of reference in the build uh, source uh -huh. so we have the the file that you mentioned before but this is actually more convenient because well, it does not invalidate the, the gradle configuration all the time and you can do the bundles right so that yep. that will be that would be okay this is cool and the migration is pretty straightforward because you just need like a few minutes to just create the file and start changing stuff. Yeah, there's a little bit of initial uh, investment in getting it set up. But once it's there, yeah. it just makes uh, the build config so much easier to maintain. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's always like a bit of infrastructure work at the beginning. But then, you know, the... The people that will join the project will be, oh, this is super nice. You know, they will never know how much time it, it costs <laughs> <laughs> exactly. to, to build it. They were like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I read it on a blog post by Mark Ellison. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know, I know, we know, we know. <laughs> and, and this is nice, actually. You know, and you never see the versions and you never see everything again. And you can use the same approach. So this scales uh, to every modules, right? So it's not just the app. You, you don't need to do anything. If I create another module, I can always uh, access this um, libs bundles thingy. Absolutely. Um, so once it's there, you create a new module and you just set up your dependencies to use uh, the the lib stuff, and uh, okay. you get so uh, you know particularly where you've used bundles, you you can actually set up your uh, your dependencies for a new module really quickly once this has been yeah. set up initially. Yeah, because may every module needs a logger, you know, you always need probably some basic library like the dependence injection stuff and then you just just create one bundle with all the common stuff and then you're done. Yeah. So if I have, is, if I only have it. like mm -hmm. one um, one artifact with one version, like in this case I only have one lifecycle thing, uh, can, I, can I put something like version equals something here or like this um try it <laughs> let's see how broken it is now yeah no way oh yeah because it's saying i don't have the life cycle bundle fair enough life cycle uh and this is, i'm i'm trying to see if the same name clashes with versions but i don't have versions so whatever um 
this and th this. Okay, now that should work, and I can also remove uh, this one. I obviously need to start another sync immediately because I have changed things. Um, it seems more okay. unhappy, but also still happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, although, although you can uh, inline the uh, the version like that, um, personally, I always think it's nice to have it in the version section mm -hmm. because if you you uh, run a, um, assuming you're using Bedmain's versions on your project and you see you've got to update something, if all you need to do is go to the version section. You've not got to hunt through the libraries to yeah. find the library and then scroll to the end. Yeah. You just look for that. Uh, so, again, good naming is uh, is important so that you, you can easily identify what the version is in the version section without having to hunt for the individual library. But, um, but you know, each to their own. Um, it's uh, whatever works is the important thing. I'm checking out if the name clashes with Compose Bundle and version, but um, let's see. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Unclear. No. <laughs> okay. Um, There's another little hack you can do if you go to your application uh, build gradle uh, yeah this was already it yeah uh, if you uh, go to your compose options up in the Android section I've done it already <laughs> <laughs> I, I also think that it would make a lot of sense for this a, a shorthand way of doing that yeah which is uh, if you replace all of that with libs. Oh, just libs here. That makes sense. <laughs> project, it's just libs.versions.compose.get. Yep. Um, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Sync and just again. For the other little thing you can do is if you go right to the top of your Android build section, if you wanted to, say, put your compile SDK in there, mm -hmm. you could do that, but you it, it gets a little bit fugly. So what you would need to do is you need to declare that in your TOML file as a string, mm. and then you need to pull it in like you did before, um, with the, the, the compose one uh, just now mm -hmm. and then do a convert to in at the, at the end so I would have to do like inversions or whatever yeah inversions but compile SDK uh, let's do and draw well let's project compile uh, uh, SDK uh, let's do 30. Yeah. So here I would have to, well, I have to sync first, otherwise it's not going to find anything. It seems to me like there's still something kind of broken in Gradle because it does re-index everything uh, all the time and it re-downloads yeah. stuff. So still not 100% there, but... So in here you can do libs.versions dot com uh project, project. yeah file sdk you might need the hyphen there rather than the dot on the version mm, uh, i don't think that works though in kotlin well i mean it would work like this <laughs> it's horrible uh then you need to do a get yeah Let and me just, just in case, project, no, it actually, yeah, works like this, uh, to int, 
And I don't yeah. need the parentheses. Okay, yeah. Uh, build two Sorry. versions I can actually omit and just use the built in ones, whatever, that's fine. So that is kind of ugly in your uh, project file, but it's uh, a one shot, uh, you know, config change. Mm. Um, and you then just have, uh, you know, if you've got uh, different uh, builds and different, you, you know, you can even put stuff like your application ID and stuff like that in your versions if you want. Um, that's probably something I'll do because I regularly set up new projects. Mm -hmm. And if I can uh, just cut and paste the um, build.gradles across and then just update a few values uh, in uh uh, lib versions then it saves me time so that's something i'll definitely be doing i suspect my... that can also be very useful if you have multiple modules we only have one so it doesn't really make much of a difference but if you have like a an app module and then like a dozen library modules then you only have to define it in one place and uh, it works for all of them um yeah i don't think in our case it makes much sense yet so i'll probably just revert to 30 for now uh, but if we start modularizing, then definitely that's something to look forward to. Um, okay, shall we do a few other ones? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's say we want to do, well, room and hilt are obvious room ones. Room hilt. Yeah. Yeah, I will go for them. Because Hilt, we are also using it in the main, uh, in the root build, I guess. Are no. we? Uh, uh, let's see. I, I can't remember. So room version is 240 alpha 2 and Hilt version is 235.1. Yeah, I think we actually are doing that uh, because we have the Hilt plugin somewhere. Yeah. yeah, there it is. There was like a bit of a redundancy. Yeah, yeah, there was a bit of a redundancy here, line line nine or something. Yeah. Problem solved. Okay. So we'll we have like have one to... single source of truth. Yep. So I was actually thinking that like this one is Kotlin.gradle the plugin. Maybe in my head it would probably make more sense having something like uh gradle plugins dot uh, dash kotlin or something like that so i have all the gradle plugins in one place um yeah, that makes sense and mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. i like it i need to go uh well in the root i think uh yes and what the fuck did i copy paste <laughs> oh no i i missed selected okay gradle plugins dot kotlin and that should work and now we can also do the same thing for uh gradle plugins hilt um which is this i think you call that hittle hittle er <laughs> hilt it's a scottish version okay it's a kiltle it's uh, the kiltel. This is libs dot. Oh wait, this is wrong. Uh, libs dot gradle plugins dot hilt. That should work. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's complaining that the room version doesn't exist anymore. I think we need to do this first. Um, let's. Oops. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, room and this is room KTX and this is a package and this is room I'll duplicate this runtime and runtime okay uh, and I guess I don't know if it's worth making a bundle probably yes let's make a bundle I'm. I'm <laughs> um, I mean, you are. You are on. You are on a spree. Just bundle everything. Yes, bundle YOLO. Bundle all <laughs> the things. 
Why not? I can. I like new things. I'm a yeah, software yeah, engineer, cool. and at thus, that makes me very success. <laughs> first of all, for you to say. <laughs> first of all, that clearly uh, makes me unable to pronounce words. Uh, I wanted to say susceptible. Yes, close enough. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, to liking new things. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. You you can you can write it in the, if you can spell it. I can absolutely can. spell but it, I, but I cannot pronounce it apparently. So that that's also that's also that's also interesting. But uh, I'm just thinking, Sebastiano, that this file it might be. The single most copy pasted file of our repository, like forever. Because you are adding <laughs> like 90% of the libraries that everybody has. Everybody it's open source. Everybody's just gonna come here, just copy the file, and just drop it in their, their project, and bam, they are done. I will be honest, I would totally do the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, this is, uh, and that's why I'm pushing us. Sebastiano, you should also do room. You should also do, can you, can you do also? <laughs> you, fine, can you do everything? fine, fine. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just, just, just saying, I mean, it could be useful for the community. You know, you know how the community is. They are very grateful people. Uh -huh. I think one thing worth pointing out is um, mm -hmm. because you're doing uh, uh, Hilton room at the moment, um, they have, uh, as well as implementation dependencies, they also have capped dependencies. Yep. Well, and you can't yeah. share. You can't have a bundle that includes both implementation and capped. I was planning to make separate ones. Yeah, um, but it, it's kind of in your build.gradle. You're actually declaring what has that dependency. So here you're saying capped has that dependency. Mm -hmm. Um, and the implementation has that dependency, and the two are sort of different dependencies you're imply applying. So it doesn't make sense to put those in the the Toml file, um, but you can have two separate bundles. So uh, you could have because you've got two um, Hilt compilers, the Dagger one and the Hilt compiler. You could put those in a bundle if you so desired. Yeah, I was going to do that. Uh, I wanted to get rid of all the implementation ones. Uh, also, I think this is going to be a problem. I don't think bombs are supported yet uh, with the Toml, so we might have to specify the versions by hand, but we'll get to that. Or we can also leave them like this, I guess, for now. Um, I love how Hilt stuff has like three different versions. <laughs> It's like this one are all healed, but they're all different. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I would actually call this um, dagger healed to differentiate it from the other ones because otherwise it's going to be a pain. Yep, yep. Dagger healed. Okay. Um, and then we need to, so we've done this, we've done this, uh, one, two, and then we have Hilt common and Hilt lifecycle view model. Okay. So this is again, Android X, um, Hilt, Hilt common, and this is the one, Okay, and this is going to be a hilt. And then I'm going to have a lifecycle hilt or hilt lifecycle version for this one. Oh, how I wish they all went at the same version, but they don't. Uh, this is... Eventually, eventually they, they will fall back to the platform approach like Firebase. Probably. I mean... Yeah, because it... Makes sense. It gets a bit weird. It gets a bit weird at some point. Yeah, the the bombs uh, are actually quite nice in the sense that you just define yeah. the one thing and then that describes the versions to be used for the other ones in case someone didn't know what yeah. they are. But they're not very 
uh, well known in Android world. I I guess Firebase yeah. is probably the only known example of that. There is there is other there are other libraries, but Firebase is definitely the the most uh, popular one that uses the bomb. Mm -hmm. We also had a question on Wednesday because some of the followers, one of the followers asked, um, what was the the bomb thing? And you know we we actually explain it, it solves a tricky issue because you know we are all about <coughs> modularization, but on the other side you can't lose your head around you know after oh which version is this one the other one the other one so eventually they they build it in a separate streams, but they release them with with a bit more like you know. Um, uh, is I will say so I like the the bomb approach I like the bomb approach yeah it's convenient I don't I don't know if and when the version catalog will support it but that would be great actually yeah. I think there's an issue open for that as well on the on the gradle repository uh, I need to create the KAPT things as well. Um, so let me just uh, room, uh, room compiler. And that's this. Room comp oh, no, <laughs> what was I doing? I don't know. And this is room. Okay, and then we have a uh, hilt. Uh, this is more like a dagger. I will actually. Naming is hard. Yes, I agree. I like the dagger, dagger. Dagger, hilt, and um, dagger, hilt, Android. This is hilt compiler. And I need to call this dagger dash. Compiler and this one. Do you mean the one above that rather than I think yeah. you've just changed to Android? Yes, thank you. I would have not noticed that for an hour and then bashed my head against the wall. <laughs> I was like, why the fuck is this not working? Yeah. <laughs> classic. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a classic. Um, Dagger, no, this is just Hilt compiler. Yeah, we, will be, we will blame Fabio. Because it's it's always related. yeah, always Fabio's fault. <laughs> if it's dagger related, it's Fabio's fault. And this is compiler, uh, Androidx dot health health dash compiler, and then the the version is uh, the hilt one. Okay, that's fine. So now I can create the room kapt, uh, which is. Well, it's actually just one, so there's no point in creating that. Uh, but yield kapt, and that's gonna be um, so the there's compiler. three of them. I'm just gonna put this ones here so I don't forget. So it's dagger compiler, yield compiler, and the other yield compiler. Okay. Okay. Uh, and good. now I can do well. This is the the room one. So this is libs dot version. No, wait, no, no. Is that? Um, I forgot already. <coughs> Mark. <laughs> oh, the room. The room is uh, bundles. Just room. Uh, the room one is. Da, 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 I'm trying to see it. Uh, yeah, that should be just uh, just dot room, room. Uh, compiler. Uh, room dot room compiler. I think that should be correct. Uh, and this one would be libs dot bundles dot uh, hilt Okay. okay. Sync it. Are you crossing all your fingers? Uh, oh, my mia. I have no idea. I'm thinking again. No. 
Come on. Computer oh, that many well. changes is bound to fail. Uh, rebuild everything. Unable to. No, okay. I can just run uh, the clean thing. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We are missing something. Could not okay. find Dagger Hilt Android Gradle plugin. Android. Did you get it? Is there a problem with the. Because there's so many different versions for Hilt, did you. It might start well from be. Somewhere. Hilt. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it was Dagger Hilt. Yeah, this is very easy to navigate, right? <laughs> Unresolved reference room. That's a lie. Yeah, the KPT, the KPT theme is. But yeah. where is the KPT one? The Hilt Android Gradle plugin applied. is applied, but no. Com go, 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 go. What? Huh? It cannot find the dependency. Oh, yeah, right. Yes. That makes sense. Uh huh. That is correct. Uh, uh -huh. That is not correct. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Kong Google Dagger uh, Hilt Android. Uh, that's the problem. Yes. Oh, come on. Um, no help compiler now. Ah, help compiler now. Yeah, and help compiler, you've you're missing a yeah, dash. dash. Yeah. Well, at least okay. at least the the Hilt Gradle plugin is helpful. It tells you what's wrong yeah. <laughs> instead of being like, yeah. well, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't like your face. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like you. Uh, come on, room. Get this shit together. You've got a room no bundle. Room. Is it bundles room? No, that's not the bundles. Cat. No, I need the just the, just the one. Oh, it's Android the KPT, X dot the KPT room one. dot uh, room okay. compiler. Yes. Or room. Com yeah. 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 This is definitely gonna be the most copy wasted file ever. Yeah. I mean, nobody's gonna write All this bullshit. Ever. Ha. Sort the lines. This is the best. Yes, I love it. Yeah, this is the best. And these are sorted. Uh, these That's are good. sorted already, but just yeah. in case. Yeah, they're sorted. Okay, fine. Sorted, I make. Sorted. Fine. Okay. Good. Um, let's <laughs> do yeah. the 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 other ones, I guess. Um, do you want to do all of them? I mean, we have like four plus these ones go for it but it's not that many i think we're gonna be done in a go few minutes <laughs> he said go for it it's, but it's that dependencies block, the dependencies block is already looking a lot more manageable yeah yeah that's actually super true super true the bundles thing you know i like the versions that's nice but you you know you, you, you will always have somebody arguing, yeah, but we can do the same with build source, you know? But the bundle thing, that's actually super nice. Super nice. Yep. Uh, there's an issue with your yep. module. I realized. Uh, on that. There you go. And this is activity compose, okay. <laughs> So I can replace this with uh, uh, libs dot Android X dot activity dot acti right. compose. Yeah, I haven't synced yet, so it doesn't yeah. know what it is, but <laughs> it will soon. It's gonna come. App compat one down. Six to go. Yeah, now it's very nice. confused because I changed shit when it was thinking. Um, sorry, not sorry. Don't think. Up don't think back. or don't change stuff. No, I want a capital C. Uh, yep. Uh, one three zero. Otherwise, lint gets very upset. 
Sink, 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 sink. You can do it. This is what 12 cores I mean, get you, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are the one complaining. I mean, I have witness. I mean, on Wednesday, I was like, okay, I'm running an Arduino. Yeah, and then you're complaining about your machine. Yeah. No, no. Not allowed. <laughs> and you're not allowed. You are privileged. Yeah, more than usual. Uh... Oh, there's another Hilt thing, okay, which obviously has a different version, because why not? <laughs> uh, this is the navigation one. Yeah. 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 So this is Hilt exactly. navigation, navigation compose, compose. Because uh, which is <laughs> it's like two. the super combo. Yeah. It's the super combo. It's like putting three libraries together. Yeah. And, uh, when uh, when they update something in Hilt, the thing is, you, that's where kind of like the, the version catalog falls apart, is that if they update one of the 16 Hilt libraries that we have, like dependencies that we have declared, suddenly it might not be Dagger Hilt anymore. It might become something else entirely, and then you have to change 15 places again. But it's the same thing you would have had yeah. to do anyway. <laughs> So I guess it's just a different pain, <laughs> but the same sort of pain. Yeah, it's just it's just wrapped in a in a different car, the different paper. Um, uh, I had created something, I think. No, I did not. Um, so this is Navi. Oh, thank you, Android Studio. And this is Hilt Navigation Dash Compose. And then this is Navigation Compose. Okay. Um, and we'll just YOLO this. It's going to be broken for a couple of things, but it's fine. Navigation Compose. Oh, no, wait, it's Hilt Navigation Compose. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it makes sense to name like the last bit as the camel case version of the group ID, yeah. uh, the artifact ID, because um, otherwise it becomes like a nested mess. Yeah, um, but I guess it's one of those things where history will tell us whether we were right or wrong. Yeah. Navigation and this is navigation compose and I'll copy paste this shit. Okay. And then the version ref is going to be uh, navigation Compose. Okay, and then I go here, and this is navigation compose, which is, funny enough, the same as lifecycle, but unrelated. Yes, I think it's pure coincidence, my friend. Yep. Uh, I'm also. But, you know, what are the odds? What are the odds? Probably very low, but at the same time, you never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this should be fine. Let's sync and see if it picks up those two. Um, come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. <laughs> I don't know why I had this Red Dead Redemption flash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So when when full western i like, i don't know how my brain south works dakota. yeah <laughs> full south dakota instant full south dakota i'm just gonna call it i'm not gonna do com dot jake wharton dot timber i'm just gonna do timber 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 i like timber timber yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely. Works, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and it's going to be on GitHub. Perfect. Yep. It's okay. Yeah. Nothing of what and we do nope. is public, is it? 
<laughs> yeah, no, I mean, this is like a private draper, right? Yeah, sure. Yep. And we are streaming for just the three of us. Yeah, so that's also that's <laughs> also important. On this, on this note, I want to oh, no. thank you all the. Ah, uh, come on. I mean, okay, I, I, I don't know. To, I, I, I never know what to expect. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I need to do it because we got a fantastic uh, response from our followers um, in um, uh, uh, last message that we ran and uh, the previous stream. We, um, we, we announced that we can now get uh, subscribers on Twitch and uh, if you have a, a Amazon Prime subscription you can subscribe for free to a twitch channel so we got a, a, a big response from our followers we want to thank you uh, again it's uh, it's free for you and uh, we get a bit of momentum to get some swag uh, we are basically planning um, to we have stuff on the shop already on the store but we are also planning things like more like uh, um, stickers and keychains and things that we are gonna drop uh, also during the the stream in the next week so we really appreciate your uh, your support and yeah thank you I just wanted to to thank you because we weren't expecting um, that uh, that that amount of support, but yeah, apparently you get it for free from Bezos, and you give it to us, and you get back a T-shirt. <laughs> so we go, we went full circle. I mean, Bezos doesn't need the money. We take the money, we take the T-shirts, we send you the T-shirts. So <laughs> you just get, the, you, and that's that's the perfect circle. So if you have a, a Amazon Prime subscription, um, we have a link uh, on uh, on Twitter that you can follow. You get the, you subscribe to your uh, use login in your Prime Games account. You can link it to your Twitch account, and then you can subscribe for free. Uh, to our channel so it's free for you and it supports the channel so and you get back stuff in a few weeks <laughs> eventually <laughs> so, uh, we need to receive it first it's a cute well yeah but, but i mean the the machinery is already in motion so i i'm really happy for this because we are already looking at you know how can we save on shipment where where we can ship how can we do the uh, raffle how can we do the giveaways so we the machinery is in uh, is in motion and so we we appreciate all our uh, followers and all our subscribers so thank you again um, um i saw well, Hugo. I, I subscribed on wednesday and i can confirm it's very easy and didn't cost me a penny and you're an expert <laughs> in twitch right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I set up a Twitch account for the first time on Wednesday as well. So. <laughs> Thank oh. you, Mark. Oh. I'm a Luddite, uh, Hugo really. Is Hugo is complaining about uh, your font. So I increased the font size already, font. but if I make it more than 19, I can't see more than five words on the screen at a time, and that kind of makes it hard yeah, but... to code. <laughs> But he's he's watching it on the TV, so he's probably like three meters away from the screen. So we get a bigger TV, Hugo. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we need to compromise on this. Uh, I guess. Ah, <laughs> called it. I mean, that was quick. That was quick. I mean, the power of persuasion. Nice, Sebastiano. <laughs> well done. Well done. Oh, I'm a born salesperson. Um. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we are almost no. done. The only thing to do no, would be to get at... this ones. But it is much, yeah, much better the already. Block. The dependencies block is crazy. It, it looks clean now. It doesn't look like someone had just dumped a, a truckload of random shit. <laughs> Text in a file. Yeah. It's like, but... war dependencies. <laughs> Yeah, the Tomo file now yeah. looks like that, but it's just one single messy file and a lot of different messy files all over yeah. the project. Yeah. Again, in this project, this we only have one module. The same file. We only have one module in this project, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. But I'm thinking in terms of having multiple modules, how much less shit around the code base you have to have 
uh, the bundles are amazing. Yeah. yeah, that that was the the thing that sold me. That that was kind of, you know, I, I always felt it was more um, an evolution over uh, other systems than a revolution. But bundles were the one thing that that made me sit up and uh, and say, yeah, this is worth uh, worth going with from now on. Yeah, I am going to YOLO and uh, finish the Gradle plugin stuff. Um, yeah, so bear with me for a second. Uh, we're almost done, I hope. Um, this is, uh, okay, I'm gonna call it AGP because I'm lazy and it's short. Okay, and then we have uh, GMS, GMS. Uh, which is again GMS because I'm lazy. <laughs> so GMS, and I could theoretically also do like little um, plugins dot AGP. That would probably make it a bit more um, understandable. So I'm probably going to do that, and I'm also going to do well. Kotlin is the same version. So I don't think. Yeah, I think it makes sense to have a single version for Kotlin. Yeah. Because unless I can do something like uh, Gradle plugins dot Kotlin uh, equals version like version dot ref something, but I don't think it's gonna work. I can try, but something tells me it's not going to work. Yeah, no, it doesn't like it. It does not like it. Okay, whatever. Never yeah, mind. bear in, in mind uh, the actual version dot ref is resolved by the uh, version catalogs tooling, whereas uh -huh. you've still got to create a valid Toml file. Mm -hmm. And if there's no way of supporting that in Toml, then uh, then I am, as they say, fucked. Because if you look at what's happening in your library section, you, you've effectively got a map for each uh, each one there and the map name is version dot ref so that's kind of handled by the tooling that it kind mm. of does its magic around that but you can't just use version dot ref anywhere you like you've got to use it in a place where the the, the tooling can uh, say oh i know what to do with this mm, oh yeah obviously it's a uh, great little plugins dot uh things okay uh, it's still not happy this is me unhappy then uh, which one gradle plugins dot GMS it does ex okay let me let me try this oh no wait no 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 I know what's wrong uh, this should be a dash yeah, because then it converts it, right? Yeah. Nope. And well, I, I will also have to do like this and this. And but you still have the the up one. No? The, the, which one? There was another one with the dot. No. No, no, no. I, it's just the, the three beginning. of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just need to replace this now. So it's libs. Oh wait, I forgot what was there. <laughs> uh, Android. Okay. Libs. Great. Plug. Ugh. Plugins. Yeah, I cannot write. <laughs> it is a problem. It is a problem. Uh, it's also Android. You need to hit Balmer's Peak, I think. I might as well <laughs> for how well I'm typing I might as well and uh, crash lytics okay let's try and sync if it's happy we're all happy we can sort the lines sort the lines do 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 it was total <laughs> hold the line <laughs> I, I. 
I don't know. I apologize for the spam. We get the spam, but I took care of it. Thank you, Ivan. Just yeah, I mean this this people, right? I don't know. Spam everywhere. Fucking spam bots. Uh, sort lines. Okay. Uh, it looks go like to go. It looks like we have done all the things. Um, I am only uncertain whether I want to uncomment this and do this and see if this works. Ah, uh, what was it? I saw a lot of red. Yeah. Okay. That seems to work. That's cool. Uh, this is fine. Uh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Uh, no. Okay, never mind. Uh, I will just delete that and leave it like this. Okay. Okay, yeah, it doesn't like imports. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's, but um, let's go with it. That makes just, sense. Just go with it. Yeah. I... Uh -huh. Not. But okay. Also, don't don't think I need this first, but I'll I'll leave it there for now. Um, let me do this. Sort it. Also, although probably want to do this instead, uh, just in case. Uh, I don't think it makes much difference because they're all applied in a different thing but let's see because i might have broken everything yeah i've broken everything so i'll just undo this um <laughs> hey oh, beautiful come on yeah whatever that works uh let's not yeah, ever works. do this Chaos. ever again <laughs> entropy entropy works no i think it's just that he gets very obsessive with the uh, android application being the first one that's it so, um, might be, but then again, yeah, whatever. Why? I, I decided yeah, that life you, is too short <laughs> to to fix red to code. Sort the plugin. <laughs> no, no, sorting is important. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's uh, so, let's say let's run it, shall we? Mm -hmm. Let's see if it explodes. I don't see why it would, but it might. <laughs> And our lofty plans of doing other shit besides uh, doing the version catalog, actually, <laughs> it's never going to happen. But uh, I, I'm going to do some of that maybe on Wednesday. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Do we have a guest for Wednesday? I don't remember. Maybe, maybe not. If anyone wants to join us um, from the chat, just let us know. We're happy to have anyone, really. Uh, because we're all in here to learn things. So if anyone wants, more than welcome. To join. Uh, even if you're not an expert in whatever, we aren't either. So <laughs> that's the whole point. We're all trying that's to learn sure. things together. So if you would like to join, you're more than welcome to. Just uh, let us know. Ping us on Twitter or let us know in the chat. Well, probably Twitter makes more sense because then we can reply offline. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It works. Still works. It works. Still works. That's perfect. So we have like 15 minutes to do something with Compose. <laughs> what do you want to do? The onboarding? I don't think we have enough time to do that. Okay. Let's do Okay, 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 okay. Uh, just checking what we have. We have updated the, the Gradle version. Um, this has changed the encodings for whatever reason. Sure. Um, uh, what have we changed here? Okay, that's the singleton thing. And this is it. Okay, so I will actually do separate commits because I am anal about these things. Haha. -ha. Uh, upgrade middle 7.0 to 7.0.2. Okay. Then we have um, maybe the application module using 
done annotation for provider. Is it needed? Chat says yes. Okay, let's commit. And then the rest is, thank you, Tom, for sorting my stuff. Uh, commit, uh, probably want to run uh, static analysis just in case before pushing, but I think we can uh, start to wrap up things. So we are actually within the two hours that we said we were gonna take. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop working. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's always the same problem. Uh, What's this? The Gradle Demons, um, they're stuck. Ah, uh, they're in stuck. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's like a menu. I always use the console. There is. There is. Nobody knows that there is, but uh, it's been in IntelliJ for a long time. <laughs> okay. There's also, I think, I saw recently. Um... No, just brains. Uh, there is like a fancy Gradle plugin. Um utilities thing uh, that was quite handy, I think. Uh, was it this? No. It's fairly new, so wait, what the fuck is okay, Gradle? Okay. So hey, Gradle. You, can, you can ask. Yeah, I was thinking the same. The Gradle demon. Uh, Gradle depends on that. Oh, I cannot find it. Oh no, show more. Probably just need to show more. Uh, Okay, I don't know. Well, uh, I'll, I'll find it eventually. Like infinite. Yeah, there's a number of them. Um, this has failed because... Wait, has it failed? No, successful. Okay, push it, push okay. it. Find it. Uh, we will find out whether the um, the, IDs, uh, the the static analysis is happy on the CI or not. Uh, I thought it was Gradle Helper. There's obviously two that are called the same, but same. Uh, no. The first one is very popular, though. No, it was something like Gradle Util. Or, I don't remember. I'll find it and I will let you know. I'll put mm -hmm. it on Twitter. Um, it was nice because be besides having, well, having re-implemented this, essentially, um, it also has a bunch okay. of other things like a way to clean the Gradle cache. Uh, it tells you uh, ah. the JDK that it's using, I think, stuff like that, which is fairly useful. So, yeah, yeah that's cool. It's a shame I cannot remember it, but uh, it's there. It's open source, so it's free. So why not use it? It's some somewhere it's going to pop up at some time. Yeah, absolutely. And I think uh, it is time to wrap it up. So thank you, Mark. Thank you very much uh, for uh, sorting the mess that was already starting to develop in our Builder Gradle file. <laughs> I, I, I think it kind of sums me up that you had me on for two hours and we've actually made no progress whatsoever on the app behavior. But the code looks much nicer. <laughs> but actually, actually you, you set up us for success when we go multi-module. So that's actually, that's actually great. Plus, we build the first copy, paste, <laughs> file, <laughs> like that. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm going to ask GitHub for stats. I mean, people are going to just check the file all the time. That's, <laughs> it's going to be super useful. It's going to be super useful. I, I bet on it. So, Mark, uh, from now on, you shall be known as Mark Kondo, and you will have a Netflix show in which you <laughs> sort people <laughs> Gradle's dependencies. <laughs> so, uh, you, you, you need to lay every dependency on the floor, and then you pick the dependency that spark joy. Okay? Does uh, Hilt spark our, uh, joy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does Dagger... Or the, the navigation compose library sparks joy. That's perfect. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, cool. So uh, again, thank you, Mark. 
Uh, thank you everyone that was with us on the stream today. Uh, Mark, if you want to come back whenever, we're happy to have you again. Uh, maybe we'll get to do some actual features next time. <laughs> <laughs> So some some UI stuff that you I mean you are famous for the UI part and the styling and everything layouts and everything so maybe you know just just try, try to leverage the, the guest <laughs> next time Sebastian okay? yeah, so, yeah. Mean, well we yeah. did because he, he wrote an article table, right? you know he wrote an article about this yeah. and I read it and I liked it I was like Mark come <laughs> <laughs> Let's just steal two hours of his life that he's never gonna get back. <laughs> yeah, because you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, super. I mean, super. Maybe, maybe Mark, next time you can have one of your famous uh, video call hats. <laughs> you, you have to know that Mark is known for, especially during Christmas time, uh, for having very, very weird hats during video calls. <laughs> It's not, it's not Christmas, but... They are kind of festive, um, weird hats. We, um, we are a jolly bunch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Mark, um, if people want to get in touch with you, uh, where can they find you? Um, always on Twitter, at Mark I. Allison, uh, or... Um, Go to uh, stylingandroid.com. That's where the blog is. Uh, there's contact details there if anyone wants to dig out my email address, look at the about page. Um, um, and yeah, um, that's kind of how it goes. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, we are two Thank minutes you. past the two hours we promised people. So let's wrap it up. Thank you, everyone. Have a great time. Don't forget to uh, subscribe with the free Jeff Money, uh, if you can, uh, or with the real non-Jeff yes. Money, if you want. Uh, it doesn't really make much difference <laughs> to us, but it might make for about, to, to you. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes, eventually. Uh, for those who are watching us uh, on YouTube, uh, VOD tomorrow, Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. That's important for us. And don't forget to ring okay. the bell. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> ring the bell, the notification bell. <laughs> yes. Also, I mean, we are like we are becoming like stereotypes, like streamers cliche kind of shit. If we uh, wanted anyway, to, just put like, if we wanted to go all the way, what we would do would be to say, "Oh, and uh, have you tried the versions catalog? Let us know in the comment below." <laughs> Smash that subscribe what button. What do you think about <laughs> God. Yes. What do you think about the guest? Uh, do you want another guest? Do you like did you like Mark as a guest? Do you want to see him again? Uh, just in the comment below. Uh, yeah. Okay. I hate this shit. Okay. Let, let's just go. Let's go just go. I, <laughs> Bye. I,